that look needs to change. Let me explain. In the recently released patch notes, Riot Games have made some changes to where buffing the sonic sensor's react speed to twice as fast and being pickable, and by making her barrier mesh bigger. Could that look seem more casual and competitive play soon? Maybe. Do I like her current state? No. Don't get me wrong, I like Deadlock's design over Ultimate and the Gravnet, so I'm not going to be talking about them. The main issues with Deadlock is her main ability, Barrier Mesh, and her Q ability, Sonic Sensor. Both of them just kinda suck. So without further ado, here are three ways that Deadlock can be fixed. And if you enjoy this video, please drop a like. Thank you. Number 1. Put Hair and Sage into a new category. Both Sage and Deadlock don't really feel like Sentinels, and they don't really play like Sentinels. Deadlock's only sentinel ability is her sonic sensor, but it just sucks. So I suggest that she and Sage are put into a new category called support. Both of them offer direct support to teammates in gunfights. For example, Sage's slow orb is great at slowing enemies and forcing them into disadvantaged fights, while the wall and heal are a great supporting utility to cover enemy shots or heal teammates. Deadlock's only supporting utility is her Gravnet, that is great to throw on enemies before engaging in a fight. I really think that they should remove her sonic sensor and replace it with a new ability that I am really proud of. Allow me to present Deadlock's new ability, Utility Suppressor Grenade. Ok, I know the name isn't very catchy, so let's leave that to Riot, but let me explain to you how that grenade works. The Utility Suppressor Grenade is a short range throwable ability that blocks or nullifies any other grenade or grounded abilities in its radius. Imagine this, you're in a post plan scenario against some cringe brimstone one trick that of course has a lineup for that part of the site. Tap the defuse to bait out the world. Then, you notice the Molotov flying down towards you. You somehow manage to half it before the Molotov lands. Time is running out, you need to defuse the spike. Then the brimstone peeks and gets the kill and boom you're on some stupid video on TikTok. Ok, so how could the new utility suppressor grenade change this outcome? Simple. Instead of needing to wait the Molotov out, the new ability would be able to nullify it useless, kinda like how the smoke grenade can extinguish a Molotov in Counter-Strike. Listen, like them or not, lineups are boring, there's almost no counterplay against them. Quickly going over the already existing agents in the game, this is what the new ability could suppress. Astra's Suck, Brimstone's Molly, Viper's Snakebite, Phoenix Molotov, Fade's Seize, Gecko's Moshbeat, Chaos Fragment, Chamber's Trap and Gun's Slow Effect. Cypher's Tripwires, Deadlock's Gravnet, Killjoy's Nano Swarm, and Sage's Slow Orb. I really do think this ability idea is a good one that could do what KO's addition couldn't. KO was meant to nerf the post plant meta that was extremely strong when it came out, but I would argue that this new ability does it way better. Number 2. Make your sonar sensor not be sonar. I really do love the idea of game mechanics that interact with sound, that's why I especially adore Fade's kit, and I really do think that there is a lot of potential with the detection of sound, but I just don't think the looks is the right match for it. So the best way to buff the look and actually make her viable without reworking her kit, is making her sonar sensor go off and stun whenever an enemy is close enough. It would still be a unique ability that helps sentinels know if someone is flanking. Think about it. Chamber's trip slows, Cypher's reveals, Killjoy's makes them vulnerable, a stun detection trip would still be unique. Number 3. Change the barrier mesh's activation method. Currently the way to use the barrier mesh is by throwing a disc on the ground that splits and makes 4 diagonal walls. Players can shoot and see through them but not walk. A way to buff this ability is to make it more like a viper orb. The idea is for Deadlock to be able to deploy the barrier mesh and then choose when she wants to activate it. She could maybe even pick it, and also it could be visible only in close range like Killjoy's and Cypher's utility. But I really think that that would be a great way to give the player more control over a kit, and maybe also trapping teammates way less. What do you think about my suggestions? I'm gonna have some free time in the next couple of months, so I'm thinking about making videos about video game mechanics that I'd like to change. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and let me know your opinions in the comments below. You're also welcome to follow me on Twitter, I post Valorant statistics from time to time over there. Have a great day!